Hey everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I'm Zelda Master 2010, and in the previous episode, we did the Swamp Palace. And in this episode, we're gonna be doing some side quests to prepare ourselves for the next palace. So let's get on our way and start things off by heading near the fifth palace. We're not gonna be entering that, we're just gonna head near that area because there's a couple things we wanna do there before doing anything else. So yeah, it's a little out of our way from where we're gonna be heading to next, but it's kind of close to the Swamp Palace, so why the heck not? This is like our best chance to do these stuff. So, go ahead and make your way down here. And there is this, uh, yeah, yeah, block of, block, block of, I don't know this, this, this piece of land that's not as steep as the rest of the lake. And yeah, go ahead and use your magic mirror over here. And, well, you look at that. Yeah, there's a piece of heart we can pick up. And we're going to be doing a bunch of these puzzly type things with the, with the magic mirror heading from dark to light world and, um, finding new areas you couldn't head to in the light world because, well, the dark world kind of opened it up for you. That's what I'm going to be doing um, throughout this episode. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty useful slash neat puzzle. So you're going to mainly want to travel in the dark world so you can head to those specific areas and then use your magic mirror to make it the light world and stuff. So, let's go ahead and make our way over here. And believe it or not, there was a bridge over here in the light world. So... Make it the light world by stepping on there, and yeah, let's go ahead and enter inside of it. And yeah, right now we're under the bridge that is now here. Now let's talk to this guy right there. Hello. Yo, Link, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. Well, thank you, sir. This is a magic bottle, and believe it or not, this is going to help us out a lot. So yeah, thanks for the bottle. To him, it's not much, but to us, it's, it's going to help us out immensely, so yeah. That's pretty helpful anyways, let's go ahead and make our way back up here, and I'm gonna head down near the Swamp Palace once more, so we want, kinda wanna backtrack from where we were first at, because we're done with this whole area, and wow, did you see that? He literally like trapped me inside, um, in between those purple thingies, which we're gonna break them all, because they almost got me killed, those stupid things, and yeah, I just flattened them all out. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make our way near the Swamp Palace once more, and we're going to head to the desert. Uh, the, basically the desert palace that was in the light world. We want to head near that area because there is another thing we can collect that is collectible right now. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to pick this up and just punch him. Which he seems to be like avoiding everything I'm trying to do to him without even trying. What, what a boss, guys. What a boss. Oh god. Oh god, eh, yeah, okay, I escaped. Anyways, uh, actually, I made my way over here on accident. Let's see where we are. So, it's not bad. I actually want to make my way under this area as well. So, we want to make our way to both of these spots in this place. Um, and stuff, so, yeah, okay. So, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my magic mirror. And you want to make sure you stand in between these patches of, uh, bushes and there you go there is a piece of heart yes okay and yeah now let's go ahead and step back into this and now let's make our way to the to the bottom side of this desert like place actually up there like literally right on top of us there is another area we want to head to but I'm gonna save that for now because I first want to get what's down under here in the bellies of the desert, which isn't really the desert because you don't really enter the deserty area until you walk past this wall, but whatever. And actually in the dark world, it's more of a, like a swampy area as you can see on the map. So yeah, anyways, stand in between these purple thingies and use your mirror. There we go. Let's go ahead and <gasps> this looks familiar. Yes, this looks like the how we open up the desert palace. Let's go ahead and take out our book of Medora. Hold it up, the master sword, and wait. Hold up the master sword, and you will grant the magic of Bamos. <gasps> Who's Bamos, man? What are you talking? Bamos? Yeah, let's Bamos out of here. Everything's exploding. Eh. Okay. And we got another medallion. We got the Bamos medallion. Um, it's a magic makes the ground. It's magic makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic meter. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I didn't know it consumed magic, but okay. Cause you know the other one didn't, or did it? Oh, I don't know. I actually did. Okay. <laughs> That's me being sarcastic, but doesn't really sound like I'm being sarcastic. Cause I sound stupid in general. So yeah. 
okay. Now let's go ahead and make our way back to that area that we were. A little repetitive how I'm doing that. I should have actually got the bottomless medallion, then got that piece of heart over here, but well, I'm stupid, so yeah, nonetheless, we're, we're still making progress, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, make your way over here. You want to make sure it's a dark world, like usual, because we like traveling in the dark world, because we're dark people. And let's talk to this guy. After wandering into this world, I was changed into the shape. Back in my world, I played my beloved flute day and night. There was a small grove where the animals would gather when I played. I would love to see that place again. Before I came here, I buried my flute there along with the, some flower seeds. Would you like to find it for me? Sure. Okay, then I'll lend you the shovel. She's actually going to lend it to us. She's going to give it to us. So thank you. Yeah, we borrowed a shovel. You can dig in many places to stuff. Okay. Now go ahead and use your magic mirror. And believe it or not, there is... Hey, that's him! In the light world, yeah, and he disappeared. No. And now what we want to do is go ahead and use this shovel that he gave us, and let's look for his magical flute. And I believe it's like right here. There we go. Yeah, we found it. Literally a second patch of spot. And oh, here is the flute. Its music surely has some mysterious power. It's actually shaped like an ocarina, but yeah, it's a flute. So as you played Ocarina of Time, we would have been like, whoa, yeah, that's exactly how I was. I was like, whoa, the Ocarina of Time is in this game, which it wasn't. It was, your... it has a similar concept, but it isn't. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Thank you, Link. But it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If by any chance you go to the village I lived in, please give it a try. Please give it a try to the something old man. Hazy, please let me hear the sound of flute one last time. Okay, I'm playing it. I don't know how Link already knows how to play it. He just found it in a in the dirt, but all right. So he's playing him the song. It's really nice and relaxing and all of that good stuff. And no, I don't care. But he transformed into a a tree stuff thing. Okay, I don't give a crap. Thanks for the flute, bro. And he also yeah, you forgot your shovel. Take it back. Okay, you don't want to. All right, thanks. Okay, now. With the flute, we're actually, we want to activate it, and by that, I mean let's actually head to the village he was in, and believe it or not, there's only one village in the game, so, what is that? Yeah, it's Kakariko Village. Let's make our way to Kakariko Village to activate his flute, but before I do that, I want to make my way over, not here, whoops, I want to make my way over to the right a little bit, and there is, where the hell is it? It's right here, okay, there we go. I thought I wasn't going to find it. Yeah, there is this fairy fountain. And now that we have three bottles, go ahead and catch some fairies. I want to catch the other two. Yes. And one more. Eh, come back. Come back. Thank you. Now we got three bottles filled. And we almost have full life. So that was pretty good. It was a nice stop. I feel rested. I feel ready to take on whatever stands in my way. And I believe we want to go down here because... We want to make our way to Kakariko Village, and you can actually head there in the light world and then find a dark world portal, but let's just, let's be smart about it and just continue traveling in the freaking freaking in the, <laughs> in the dark world, because yeah, we're cool like that. And wow, that other enemy killed that guy with the bomb, what a... What a noob. He doesn't even know how to use his drone. Okay, so, anyways, there is actually a way to head here with ease. Now, what I mean by that is go ahead and stand on this bridge, it's a broken bridge, and take out the hook shot you got in the previous palace. And there we go, we actually hooked on to this area, and now we can, oops, we can make our way up here, and make our way near the cemetery, the sanctuary, not cemetery. <laughs> yeah, right now we're by the sanctuary, and there is actually, believe it or not, a piece of heart that is here. So, yeah, go ahead and maneuver your way around until you make it to that area. Um, yeah, we're going to make our way to Kakariko Village just after collecting this piece of heart. So, what we want to do is what we've been doing with the whole magic mirror off and on thing. Let's go ahead and step on it, or use it, um, in a certain spot. And yeah, now we can access an area we couldn't access before. That's in the light world. And make your way over here. And uh, let's use our. Nah, I was gonna use our flute. <laughs> That's not what I want to use. I want to use a bomb, and I believe you can pick up bombs from here if you need some more. But we don't. And look at that, another piece of heart. Yeah, one more piece for a new heart container. And hopefully we'll be getting that in this episode as well. 
So we're doing a bunch of side quests in such a short amount of time, which is pretty awesome. That's kind of what I want to do. want to make sure we do a bunch of things as soon as possible. It will help us prepare, as well as just make this game a lot easier. So uh, go ahead and make your way over to Kakariko Village, because, yeah, we want to head there in the Dark World for several things. Actually, mainly for one thing. Now, I'm looking at my rupees right now, and I almost have full rupees, so... There are... I'm, I'm only going to show you one of the areas. Oh, God. That's okay. I lost some rupees. I don't really care. So here's one of the areas that... Like, one of these houses that are, like, casual houses that hold in a chest 300 rupees. Now, there's another house. So you can get up to 600 rupees just in Kakariko Village Dark World. Um, if I c pick it up, I'm going to be... Um, I'm only going to get, what... 10 rupees out of it, so it's definitely not worth it. So, yeah, if you go ahead and put a bomb right here, explode this wall, head inside this house, you'll find another chest, and it will contain a bunch of rupees as well. But that's not what I want to do, as I said, because, yeah. Um, let's go ahead, and now that we are in Kakariko Village, that guy who gave us the flute wanted us to head back to this area, and let's play the flute right here. Um, and this, uh, yeah, the statue. So, here we go, and play the flute, and believe it or not, what will happen is... Hey, you have to wait for the whole song, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, just sit down, wait, enjoy the music, and the statue of the bird shall crumble, and an actual duck is going to pop up out of it. No, duck, don't leave me! I am my only friend! Oh, okay, whatever. Now, actually, I'll show you guys what happens with it. If you play it, I believe you can play it in the dark No, you can't. Okay, so you can't play in the dark world. But if you play in the light world, you can teleport to different areas. Whatever, I'll show it off for the sake of education, guys, because I'm a nice guy. Alright, so go ahead and use your flute, and believe it or not, what will happen if you play it... Yeah, you get picked up by the duck of time, and you can head to whatever area you want. If you click B, he drops you back down. So there we go. Certain areas will make traveling really easy now, because we can basically head to near, basically near every single palace and stuff, so, yeah, oh my god, leave me alone, jeez, these thieves. Anyways, what I want to do, though, is make my way over here, which I'm going to have to switch it to the light world, because there's something you can do, because I really want to get another piece of heart so I can end off the episode in style, let's go ahead, and whoops, did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead and use our magic mirror right here and make our way up here. I'm just going to leave the portal there. I believe if you look on the map, you can see it. Yeah, you can. So we don't. it's not like we're going to lose it or anything. Make your way up here, and you just want to run straight from here and hit this. Yeah, this tree, the, the frickin' uh, the top of the tree is going to completely fall off because there were these two... Uh, these two lumberjacks that were actually sawing it, and then I guess they gave up, and then... Yeah, it, just, it was like literally one breeze from breaking. And there we go, we got another piece of heart, which made a new heart container! And I think in the next episode we're going to be doing a little more side questing, as well as heading to the next palace in the game. So thank you all for watching The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and in the next episode, I shall do said stuff. Goodbye, guys.